So I was playing Demon Souls yesterday, and after slogging out through the swamp, I finally acquired the Large Sword of Moonlight. And I started messing around with it, and uh, I wasn't exactly aware that the Large Sword of Moonlight does not actually have a blade. That the blade itself is just pure magic. And it scales with faith. And so the higher the faith your character has, the more damage it does. And it's S-scaling, so if you have really high faith, then you can do really devastating damage with it. But again, it requires faith. Well, my character is a warrior character, or barbarian, or whatever it is. Barbarian. So my character is barbarian. And uh, my faith on my character was like 11 or 12, or something like that. Maybe 10. And so uh, with that, uh, I wasn't executing much damage at all. So I decided to uh, check it out with um, some of the goons that you first encounter, the very first goons that you encounter in the game. And so I was messing around with those guys. And after it took me forever to put them down, then I decided to go mess with the skeletons over at uh, the Stingray Palace. And took quite a while to put that skeleton down. So after that, I decided oh, this might actually be kind of a cool little challenge run. So the challenge run is this. You start the game and you pick Magician class because Magician class has the lowest faith out of all the classes at six. So at that point, you have to beat the game seven times in any manner and any fashion which you see fit. You can upgrade any stats, weapons, armor, or anything else you wish to upgrade however you want. However, you cannot level faith. So your faith has remained at six throughout the entire duration of all these new game cycles. Once you arrive to new game seven, you immediately suicide yourself several times in human form. So you have to have like probably 30 stones of ephemeral eyes to start off with. And of course you'll acquire more. But um, so uh, you suicide yourself a few times. So at that point you're in a pure black world tendency. And then you actually start playing the game. So the entire challenge run now, the... Uh, you're doing the full game, all the bosses, no glitches, no skips, none of that speedrun nonsense, so it's an honest to goodness effort at the game. And the only way that you can inflict any damage on anybody is using the large sword of moonlight with six faith. So that's the challenge run, is to run through the entire new game seven, pure black world tendency, with a sword that's only inflicting like one point of damage per swing. And so, uh, as I said, if you follow that trajectory, once you get to New Game 7, you should have Faith still at 6. So if anybody out there can successfully do this and beat the game only using the Moonlight Sword on New Game 7 cycle and has video proof to show, I will gladly PayPal you $100 for the effort. Um, and if anybody else wants to add to the bank, I mean, we can we can pull this together and make a nice bank. But I think that would make kind of an exciting uh, challenge run and something I haven't heard anybody mention before as far as challenge runs go with this particular game. And uh, I'll even throw you a bone and say that you can play offline if you choose. That way, whenever you get to the monk fight, you're just fighting the AI monk. Um, so you're not playing and fighting an actual you know person who's constantly popping grass but uh so yeah there's my uh challenge run so if anybody wants to take it on uh feel free to comment and uh let's see what uh, what kind of wacky videos we can come up with